Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So quickly, I'm going to show you guys what happens when I uh, kind of stamp these um, or used my dilutions. And this is what we got. And you can see, you know, the dilutions, it didn't squirt out as finely as I like it, but look, it works. Um, but I'm going to give you a couple tips. And then I have a question that I was asked uh, that we're going to use a couple at home things. So as you can see, this is the stencils that I made with the Mod Podge. And I will link this down below and at the end of the video for you guys to see. But um, this I used very thick, um, you know, kind of, I just kind of scooped it out and kind of laid it around. So you can see it's much thicker and it's solid. And then I did this the other day, you guys saw where I added some of that. So, you know, there's different ways you can do it. Now you see like here, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's not laying flat. Um, as well as this one is not laying flat and you, I mean, you know, you can get nice prints or whatever, but what I do, and you have to be very careful with it. You can use your hottest setting on your hair dryer or your heat gun. And I will just real quick, give it a quickie and then go and press it down or get something, you know, flat to press it down. This is the worst ever. I'm using all my mine up because half of it is bad. A newer stuff I've bought, the company stinks. They don't ever answer me. It makes me very angry because I can't help it. They keep uh, anyway. Okay. So, and then this, like I said, needs to be flat and this is a smaller, you know, you could see I kind of drizzle, but love it, but you just have to be careful very quickly because it can melt. Now, if you want it to melt by all means, melt it. And you can do some really cool things, which maybe I'll do at the end. So here we go. We have this and I'm just going to use, I'm going to give it a good shake, use whatever, uh, ink sprays or sprays that you have. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on doing sprays and that kind of thing that will be coming up soon, but probably this week, but we'll see. So I'm going to be up here. Oh, look. <laughs> and very lightly. I don't want it to be too much stuff just spraying everywhere just so you can get the idea now you know I made these bigger so you know you can kind of see better on uh, camera now I will be up here giving it a quick no oh look at that and already revealed get back here baby I think gonna get back and the more I move it the more it's gonna squish so take a a uh, piece of paper, a, you know, whatever you have, art journal, and just pick up some of that ink if you want to, but I'm going to move this, move this, move this, and you could see, you know, just, you want to kind of fold it, um, or I like to get the clothes pinned or the, um, metal clippies to clip on the ends and just kind of hang them so they don't get um, destroyed. But I mean, look now what I love about doing it, these big things are if I'm doing a background um, and I want to leave some area, maybe to write or write a word, you can do these, you know, and you can have 20 colors underneath, but before you do your last final color, um, you can always lay these down and, you know, then you can use to write. So these are pretty cool. Um, like I said, I really, I really love them and you can do so many different, um, so many different kinds of things. So I'm going to take this, uh, that flower one, and I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush. What I'm going to do is hold it here. And it'll kind of shrink it a bit because it bubbles. And the reason I like this, who doesn't like shrinkage and bubbles in your art stuff rather? It'll go over each other itself, almost like a shrink it. But what you can do, and be careful because it's hot, but it becomes kind of like rubbery. And this did not, do, it, it, it is like a shrink it, you know, the plastic uh, shrink wrap stuff that if it touches itself after all that work that you do hand cutting it out and it touches itself. And when it touches itself, 
it sticks to itself. But look, hey, <laughs> thumb, thumb me down, give me a thumbs down. It it melted on itself, but it's material, and I will save it for when I do an art quilt because it's like, well, you can hear my dog's clumping nails in the end in the background, but um, you know, you see how it it kind of like gets this really um, plasticky feeling like you're making burnt plastic and then you can use it for, you know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, didn't exactly come out how I wanted, but I think you get, you're picking up what I'm putting down. So, you know, you can have a lot of ways if you are working at home, um, and don't have a lot of things or a lot of money and you want to try and play. So another thing that works out really good, I was asked about circles and how to get, I always show, I guess, toilet paper circles. I don't know, but how to get, um, different size circles in your art and also using, um, acrylic paint instead of always using the stays on or ink pads. I'm just going to squirt the littlest bit of black paint. Now this is multi-surface paint. This is from folk art. There's a million different ones. Um, out there, Deco Art has one. Use what you have. If you don't have the multi-surface one, um, then use the regular matte one or whatever you have. It doesn't matter. Craft paint, uh, gold, whatever you have. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is kind of move this around a little bit. I don't want to pick a lot up by my brush because then all my paint will be on there. But this is an old, I've used this a million times, plastic what is that plastic stuff called? You know, that you, um, saran tape or whatever it's called that you use to wrap packages and stuff. Um, I also have, I don't have it here, but I have a oh, scotch tape, scotch tape. Um, I have to buy saran wrap. That's why it was on my head. Anyway, I have the one out there. I forgot to grab uh, packing tape, but whatever. And you can get this at the dollar store, um, very cheaply and we can use the packing tape. I'll have a video come up and we'll, I'll have to show you a cool way to use the packing tape, but anyway, so you see, these are nice round circles and I'm just patting it on, but you could dip it. It doesn't matter. And I've done journal pages where I've done a couple, a uh, little mixed media background and then used, um, different color paints and all that for diff just different circles and had fun. So that's one. Now this is obviously off of maybe you have a spray of some sort. It could be, uh, it doesn't have to be a craft spray. It could be, um, body spray. We love bath and body works or the body shop, whatever you have. Ulta it doesn't matter. Sephora, you know, okay. So you see, you get all, you're getting different sizes, different sizes. What do you do with this? Right? Toilet paper or paper towel that you can cut. This one I cut. Um, but you want to make sure that you don't exactly cut like Kelly cuts because you could see it's not even. So I have to snip that off. I'm just going to use this then. And maybe I'll dip this just to show you. I like grungy, so I don't really worry too much about, you know, if it's all over, but you get these really cool. It depends. Pinch it more if you want it, you know, or pinch it to run it through. See, it's pinched. Look at that. You can make it as thin or whatever, and then just tap it down. Give it a little, and you get, you know, you, you put more tape paint on it, tape paint, you know, whatever. Okay. And you get really cool, you know, uh, shapes like that. This is off a little squeezy tube of something. I don't know if it was not preparation age, but, uh, Neosporin, you know, one of those that was empty. So I grabbed it. I'm going to dip it in. Maybe I need more paint. Maybe that's the problem. And you can do whatever color you want. Maybe I'll do a little pink now. Give it a little shake just to show you some other stiff. And I'm using paint because I was asked to, and because, and you could see I'm getting a little bloop. If you don't want to bloop, wipe it off and go in again. Don't get as much, you know, or get a lot and make it whatever you want. But you see here how I left it a little open, um, not on purpose. I was just, I didn't get the ink on her, but, or the paint, but see, you can make it close. So you can really, you know, adapt them. So that's another way. And then of course we have, um, just a regular, 
round toilet paper that I'm not going to squish. And again, you can play and make sure that you get it on there, but you get a nice big circle. So that's another way. And then I have two more little ways. These are, this is one of my favorites. Top of my deodorant. This is um, Secret. And speaking of, I haven't seen her do a video lately. Anyway, if you're watching this secret, I'm saying hello to you, girl. You're on my mind. I don't know why, but I hope everything's okay. So I'm just going in like this. Look at this. And then, boom. And obviously, I'm, I need more paint. But what I'm going to do, okay, but you can see. See? And these are also great if you're doing a, a, cha a channel, if you're doing a page and you're doing a canvas or whatever you're doing, right? And you want to make a place where you can write, just go in and do this. So what I'm going to do is just give this a wipe real quick because I'm going to go into my um, stays on. And I'll turn this so we can see a little better because the way I do things, you know. Giving it a wipe. Do that. Okay. This is any ink pad you have. Don't think you have to have this one. And this is if this one works. But I'm going in. I'm squishing. I'm squishing. I'm rubbing. I'm rubbing. Getting that ink up. And then. See it? And you guys know, I mean, I'm a mixed media artist, so my ink pads go to crap. Look, but you can see that there. Really cool. You know. So then you have that. And you can even go in with one of these. Whatever you have. Whatever you want. You can go to AC Moore and Michaels, and they have dollar um, and clearance. Go and pick out a couple of... Uh, ink pads that are on clearance or whatever, even if you don't like the color, because you can sit and add texture with, you know, inexpensive and, and they even have dollar ones. I think at AC Moore, they have dollar ones. You know, they're smaller, but who cares? Also, uh, Blitzy, B-L-I-T-S-Y, Blitzy. Yeah, I will link it down below. Um, go on there. They have so much on clearance, so much on sale, all the Tim Holtz, all the brand stuff for um, mixed media, acrylic painting, watercolor painting, uh, scrapbooking, all kinds of tools, paintbrushes, like the works, Mod Podge, all kinds of stuff. Um, art journal pages, go check it out. Like I said, the link uh, is down below. And just know that if you do uh, make a purchase, I get a teeny little bit of that um, that goes my way. But I do buy from Blitzy all the time. And um, I love them. So go check them out. And I don't get anything from the company itself. Do you know what I'm saying? Unless I buy it with my money. Okay. So look, this is a top. <laughs> Can be to your creamer, to your paint, to whatever, right? And it's like um, just one of those uh, sealed for your protection. So you can always lay that down. Give a squirt. I was just kind of, I don't know what this does, but I pretend like it does. And then lift it up and look at that. Let's find a good white page so you can see better. There we go, like this. Uh, okay. Ma ba. So do you see, I mean, like, right? And I've been asked, and I'm going to do it, but look, so you turn it over, give it a smush. You got some good smushage. Um, to do, like, a redo of, like, stamps that I've made that are homemade and um, stencils that I've made and all that kind of stuff for you guys um, just starting out. So I'll have a video kind of doing the whole uh, kit and caboodle. It'll be a longer video, but it'll show you all stuff that you can use from home. Some stuff I've already shown, some stuff from the dollar store, just very, very cheap. Um, and stuff that really, you know, like I said, I, I, I mean, these are circles and, and do you know what I'm saying? So you can really have a lot of fun and a toilet paper or paper towel roll. Come on, tape, lid. I mean, a lot of fun. And there's like a million other things. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you guys are doing well today. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know about how somebody else is fighting. Um, please, my links are all down below. You can check me out on Patreon and support. Um, you get free, 10 free mixed media papers. 
um, that you get to download and keep and do there. You can download them in a PDF and you can do whatever you want with them. You get 10, they're handmade. Um, and there's, you know, two packs to pick from. What else did I want to tell you? And down below should be Teespring. And I have tons of stuff on Teespring. Um, if you click it, just go check it out and see uh, what I have available. I have cell phone uh, cases and shirts and socks and all kinds of stuff, bags. So that is it. I will see you guys again tomorrow in my next video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.